Marla Rittenauer, she's a writer for the Akron Beacon Journal, and uh, she made one of the worst articles I've ever seen in my life defaming uh, slander of Deshaun Watson. Um, she said it's not about guilt or innocence, but she mentioned Deshaun Watson 13 times in this uh, article. It's about guilt or innocence for you because you wouldn't have mentioned it. Anyone don't know the backstory of Marla Rittenauer, she said when the Browns flew to Texas to uh, talk to Deshaun Watson, she cried herself to sleep at night because it brought up past trauma in her life. And anyone don't know, she was abducted at knife point back in the 70s and gang raped in a house, which is a travesty in itself, no doubt about it. But how that's relevant to Deshaun Watson, I don't know, because we're talking about a man that's maintained his innocence from the very beginning. Two GJs in Texas failed to indict him. He said he will not settle with these women. He's going to fight to vindicate his name. That's why I don't get why you kept mentioning his name in this. And you said it's not about guilt or innocence, but then you kept mentioning his name. It's not a good look, and uh, it's just terrible journalism. It really is. What happened to you is a tragedy. No one's denying that, and I feel for you. But it doesn't excuse you to be able to slander an innocent black man. An innocent black man who maintains his innocence never wavered once on his innocence. And that's what irritates me about this whole situation. You have like 45 years to write this article. You could have came out and conveyed it and said, listen, I was a sexual assault victim back in the 70s. I'd like to talk about it. You didn't have to mention Deshaun Watson like he's guilty. This man has never wavered on his innocence. And if you ever search the Internet instead of just listening to what the media says, that's the problem. Regular people just watch TV and listen to the media. The media don't want to tell you the truth. But if you listen, if you search it up on the internet, it takes two minutes. You can find a lot about these women who are accusing Deshaun Watson. And you'll get your reason why two GJs in Texas failed to indict him. Five of the women continue to work with Deshaun Watson after these so-called allegations. Does that sound like victims? Why would they continue to work with him? One of them wanted to date him. Uh, three of them bragged to their family as how great of a man he was. Um, one of them wanted 100000 to keep quiet. Uh... A ton of them scrubbed their social media, deleted it all from the internet. Does that sound like victims to you? It sounds like somebody that's got a plan in motion. Let's get rich off an innocent black man. So I think this was a terrible article for you, a bad look on you. You basically slandered Deshaun Watson in this article. And I, like I say, what happened to you is a travesty, but it doesn't excuse the fact that you can't already convict a man when two GJs didn't indict him. And he's maintained his innocence and never wavered once. I'd like to see you apologize to him. In fact, remember when Ben Roethlisberger was going through a similar situation? He actually paid, his, I think, one of his abuse, uh, victims off. And um, I don't know if you wrote anything about it then, but uh, that had to dig up some past trauma, too, you would think. But And that's relevant to us because he, we play him twice a year and he's our rival. I'm just curious why nothing came up then. So I just want people to realize, just start searching up the Deshaun Watson case and look at these women that are alleging all these things happen. There's a reason why two GJs didn't indict Deshaun Watson. They're not believable. Like I said, if, you, if you're if you a victim of sexual assault, you're not going to keep going back and uh, working on the guy. All right? <laughs> that's not a victim. That's someone who's waiting to get paid. So anyway, Marla, I think you owe Deshaun an apology. Um, usually your articles ain't bad, but this one was just bad. It's a bad look for you. Um... I'd like to see you apologize to Sean, because uh, this guy's being just trashed throughout the uh, country, defamed. And I, I hope when he's vindicated finally, even though he is in the criminal court of law, but the uh, civil suit, I hope that he slaps defamation lawsuits on people and uh, just gets the word out there. Because uh, this man never wavered on his innocence, and I believe emphatically that he's innocent. Ball's in your court now.